Right now at 6, KPRC2 investigates exclusive. For the mere fact that somebody could think that now the Armstrongs can rest in peace, shame on you. A grandmother standing by her grandson despite a guilty verdict. I would just like to say I know right now without a shadow of a doubt that AJ is not guilty. Tonight, this grandmother opens up about the trial, the case against her grandson, AJ Armstrong, and the fight ahead. We wanted to know who she believes committed the crime, and she answered that question. KPRC2 investigator Joel Eisenbaum conducted extensive interviews with the people central in this trial. Joel, some interesting revelations. Yeah, I would think so. You know, there was a gag order during the trial, so we really weren't hearing from that many people. But the prosecution, the defense, the family, it was evident sitting down with each and every one of them. They've been holding a lot in. We, the jury, find the defendant, Antonio Armstrong Jr., guilty of capital murder. As it was a murder trial seven years in the making. Okay, you guys are good? Okay. Thank you so much for being here, both you guys. But you have not heard the whole story. If AJ didn't kill your son and your daughter-in-law, who did? A KPRC2 investigates exclusive, the people at the center of the AJ Armstrong murder trial. I don't know who did it. I know it was my grandson, AJ. He's not guilty. Kay Winston has lost a lot. In 2016, her son and daughter-in-law were murdered in their bedroom. Her grandson has now been found guilty of shooting and killing them. He was 16 at the time. Now, at 23 years old, it's life in prison for A.J. Armstrong. Since the trial, the day of the verdict, um, it's like we relived what happened seven years ago, this time just worse. The family's devastated. You've talked to AJ, you say, every single day. Yes, I do. AJ has his good days, he has his low days. We've all cried. I, 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 don't, I don't recall being as um, devastated as I was that day. We feel like we've been prosecuted by our city that we live in. We're law-abiding citizens and we support our grandson. If he serves the minimum 40 years behind bars, he'll be 63 when he gets out. I will never publicly criticize his family at all. They're victims too. It is what it is. And the family decided to rally behind A.J. Armstrong in the process. Um, his older brother was also accused in open court. That I'll never understand. I don't know how we could have presented a better case, a more clear case. Three separate trials with a one-of-a-kind dynamic, including a defense attorney who was good friends with Antonio Armstrong Sr., but defended the person accused of murdering him. Who I think committed the crime? Yes, who do you think? Is the person that walked out the door with all the evidence. Who is that? I don't know, ask HPD. Not my job. There's no room for nothing else, no weakness, no failing, no failure, you know, just can't. You know, you have to keep going, you have to keep fighting, and you have to keep trusting. And the family's fight isn't over yet. They have a pending criminal appeal and a federal civil rights lawsuit against the city of Houston. Their frustration certainly palpable. Yeah. You can hear it. And yep. very emotional for them as well. Life sentence. All right. Thank you, Joel. Joel, thank you.